Hello there guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another devlog. Today I got a couple things to show for you guys. I'm very excited for this one. First off, right off the bat, this is involving questing, uh, quest rescaling, and a lot of fixes with quests that you guys have wanted for a while. So just to get all, uh, get all of it out of the way, the 90 second despawn timer is being fixed slash adjusted. There will still be a despawn timer, however, how it was always intended to work was if you don't hit them or they don't hit you basically if you're not fighting them for 90 seconds they despawn that was more of a cleanup thing than a limiting factor so that'll be removed and next up we have the uh the code for the scripting for all the quest givers and all the quest enemies has now been overhauled uh to be less client side and server side intensive so rather than being done on the npc within the npc itself it pulls a server function then the server will handle it within the server's own threads and code and whatnot so rather than using custom pc threads and you know slowing down npc ai and all this other stuff and obviously just the the player won't need to load all that code anymore if you know what i'm saying uh not much more i can really explain with that it just allows for us to use a lot more uh, a lot better methods you know packet handling a lot of that type of stuff a lot easier as well as mbt data Uh, as well as you guys can probably see on my screen that I've been showing these last couple clips uh, You guys can see the on-screen quest progression uh, Which is a, a new thing with this update as well as just for daily missions control quests all of that is separate But uh, yeah, your quest uh, Main story quest will now show specifically what quest you're on data for the quest progress on the quest collection multi-kill all those have individual details uh, But yeah, that's about all for this one as you guys have seen the past couple clips, collection quests have also now been overhauled. So rather than being location based, they are now, um, well, back what you can see. You collect them and uh, it stores the data. You can also leave the quest area and come back. It will still uh, show, the, show that you've collected that specific ball. So it's not going to be reset like a kill quest would be if you leave the area or log off. Next topic for this devlog is going to be scaling of the uh, storyline quests and all that. Uh, we are going through rescaling the Z Saga, Super Sagas, uh, as well as movie packs, and maybe patrol quests might be touched up a little bit. Uh, challengers, I will cover in the following devlog, number 11, in a week or so. Uh, but here I have Hex to talk to you guys about the rescaling. Hey guys, I've been working a lot of about the scaling and there's a whole bunch of stuff that we've been working on to make sure that it's not, you know, as, you know, wally and inconsistent in a lot of places, because even with the slight rescale that happened like before bog, there were still a bunch of big jumps in places. So we're trying to make sure that, you know, Android saga, Android 19, isn't that massive wall, you know, semi perfect cell, you know, fat boo. And, you know, the jump between boo saga and bog isn't those crazy gaps that it was before. And, you know, some things with some of the errors in the movie quest as well, specifically movie pack two being worked on a lot to really make it playable and more apt to bringing ease on the story rather than creating more difficulty. So that's kind of what we're working on. Thank you, Hex. Uh, that's about all for this devlog today, guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll have another one coming in roughly a week. I uh, hope you guys have been enjoying the more consistent uploads recently on the channel. Trying to keep it that way. Hope you guys enjoyed.